Okay, so this video, this was a request sent by a Patreon subscriber about uh, Lana Rhodes. Now, I did not know who Lana Rhodes was. I kept, I was somewhat across the name here or there, didn't really know who she was. So this is not a long article. Uh, it was just, it wasn't made too long ago, October 6, 2020. Uh, yeah, she's not, a, from, so from what I can see, she's not a bad looking girl. I didn't know she was a porn star. I thought she was like, I thought she was like an Instagram thought or something like that. But she's actually like a legit porn star or I guess a porn actress. I don't know if she's a porn star. Or anything but she she okay long story short she 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 clearly fucks strictly for the exchange of money so she's like the like just the bait the most base prostitute you can fucking you know find on the planet essentially that's what it is she she fucks for she fucks strictly for money so here we go we're gonna read this it's not a long article we're just gonna skim through it essentially not skim through it. we're gonna read through it. it's not a long article so she was at the 2017 adult Video News Awards at the Hard Rock Hotel Casino, January 2017, Vegas. Okay. So it says, fuck a fucking ad. Lana Rhodes revealed that it had always been her dream to become an adult actress. On Monday, the 24-year-old porn star told Alex Cooper in a podcast she was only 12 when she knew she wanted to become an adult actress. You see... That goes back into what I said, like, videos and videos ago. Most girls, like, I say, like, it really starts younger than that when girls realize that they will be entitled to, sh that, that, they, that, that, that their problem won't be finding what they want. Their problem is, one, girls' go issues are more finding what they want from that specific type of person, guy, that have that specific car, the specific house. That's a girl's issue. Now, I'm not trying to say that women don't struggle. Women struggle, but it's in a different format. You see, when guys struggle, we literally don't have any options. <laughs> you see, like, nobody wants us. When, especially when we're, like I said, between the ages of 16 to 25, a girl's essentially in her flat-out prime. Whereas, like, guys under the age of 25, like, we don't have options. Like, now, there, there's some younger female watchers in, in their early 20s and even in, in late teens who, who, who come who I communicate with on the channel. And this is, partly is directed more towards you. See, the difference is you had options. You just didn't want those options, you see. Where guys, we don't have any options except pick up this heavy box, move it over there. You know, and you might get lucky with a girl because that girl with, with the girl because the girl, you're the girl that a young guy's looking at. She's always looking at some guy, you know, bigger and better than her. Just the reality. But that that level of thinking that she was 12, she knew she wanted to become an adult, an adult actress. That's not uncommon. That's that, I, that's especially nowadays. Now, maybe for uh, 30 years ago, it would have been it could have been kind of a common because porn wasn't porn and, and nude magazines. It wasn't as widespread. So girls just didn't know or see it at anywhere near the same rate that they do now with Instagram. Bitches got their asses hanging out on TikTok and all types of shit. Like, this is not uncommon. I say nowadays, it, if anything, most girls at least entertain the thought at some point. Now, the difference is most girls, well, okay, that, like, at the core of it, women are after protection and status, okay? So, with that being said, the status is what will fuck up a lot of them to say, nah, I wouldn't do that. I would like, but, 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 they, but they can't say it's a bad deal. Because I, like, I sat down with, with numerous friends, wives, and, and I had them at the dinner table, like, yeah, I would, I, yeah, I, I, I would fuck, I would fuck some dudes for $600. I had them, like, in front of my, my, my buddies. Like, their girlfriend, they, I had them flat out just saying it. Like, like, but like I said, when they find that that status might get affected, that their, you know, mother, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, uh, uh, Sarah next door that she's been competing with for the last five years, once everybody finds out, that's enough to kind of like shy them away from it. Because like I say in other videos, with girls, sex is nothing more than an elbow massage at the core. Like it don't really mean a whole lot. It, it, it really doesn't. I mean, unless you like, unless you know how to fuck and you fuck her right, this will get kind of like strung out on you, which I typically had that problem most more times than not. But for like, the, like when I was like just an average dude, I didn't know how to fuck and I was just existing. Sex is nothing more than an elbow massage, man. It really isn't. So anyway, let's go. 
born Amara Maple, Lana Rhodes admitted she hoped to live a glorious life at a young age. That's not uncommon either. Uh, yeah, she hoped to live a glorious life at a young age, you know, pretty much for what reason? Because she was a woman who fucked <laughs> and let guys look at her. See, it, 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 this is not uncommon. All right. There is nothing special about Lana Rhodes. The only thing that's special about her is that she doesn't look like trailer trash and she's fucking and she's smiling that that, you know, is, so it's like this kind of like borderline wow factor. That's about it. But the core mentality is 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 right on par with most girls. OK, with with most girls. And, and, and if the girls say like, no, well, I wasn't like that fucking bullshit. There was at some point. <laughs> Between the ages of 12 to 14, this, this same mentality crossed their mind, too. So, she spent her childhood in the countryside of McHenry, Illinois, where she first aspired to make a name in the adult entertainment industry. She said her dream was to become as big as Playboy stars at the time. So, 12, so she was 12, she's 20, what's this, she's, how is this bitch? She's 24 now, so 12, that's like, what, 2008? Yeah, it's just pretty much this, this generational woman. I knew when I was going to be a I knew I was going to be a porn star from the age of twelve or thirteen. She said I wasn't even watching porn. I just knew. She added, "Yeah, okay. See, if you if you dive deep down into most girls' mentality, and and like if you if you get cut to the core, most women will have the, the generally the the same outlook." Is that I deserve a prince. I deserve a, a glorious lifestyle. I deserve the cameras to be on me. I deserve for people to love me and desire me simply because I'm a woman and I'm fucking somebody. That this is nothing like Anderson Cooper. She ain't saying anything special. <laughs> like this is this is where, where most women's brain. See now. But the thing is, though, I say where, where Lizana Rhodes girl is another area where she's special is. From what I can tell, she does. She's not. She didn't end up a single mother or stray on drugs. It sounds like she kept her head relatively clear and got on the proper path of fucking while not getting fat and taking a bath. And like, and you can't lose when you're when you're sixteen or twenty five. It's it's an entitlement because there's always going to be a beta chump that's going to come and, and hand you money because you're skinny and took a bath. <laughs> and if you fuck, oh well, you're just if you fuck and you know how to read, oh well, you're a fucking celebrity. <laughs> in those ages. Lana Rhodes admitted she had a hard life growing up. Okay, what woman will say she had an easy life growing up? Every woman's going to try to string in some victim shit. Lana Rhodes admitted she had a hard life growing up, so she started striving to become a porn star from a very young age. <laughs> it was just very chaotic at home, she said. So when those things would happen... I would just dive into my favorite shows like Girls Next Door of Playboy. I was obsessed. I wanted to be them growing up. She added, "Yeah, you're not special, Lana. See, like that's the uh, thing. I keep saying it. There is nothing special about this. All right. Like I say, if you dive into any girl, like by the, I mean, well, it's already common now, especially nowadays. By the time most girls are 16, 17, they've been ran through by half the damn high school because." This is nothing special. And, 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 and to be real about it, it never fucking ends. It never ends. Woman feels like, like, like I said, I think in a live stream, like woman, or maybe it was an older video. Woman is compelled to take from society even more after she starts to fuck. Like, like she, she feels like it is their biological nature to feel entitled to everything you own simply because they fucked you. What Lana's doing is nothing different. The only, I say the only, I say the only slight difference is she, she's one of those girls that's just not, she don't really care about the, the status as far as looking pristine around, you know, everybody who knows her. That part is probably a little faded because her household was how she says, you know, was, was chaotic. So she just said, fuck all them. I'm just going out in the world and just fucking and, 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 and getting my where, you know, getting my money simply because I'm fucking. But the core of it is still there. Just like, uh, was it? There was like multiple studies done on animals. And animals will practice prostitution. They will, they will fuck in exchange for whatever is valuable to them. <laughs> like, I think monkeys did it. 
I think, well, I think there was a study. I, I want to say it was like a Yale. And if if this is like a, you know, I read this a while back. It could have been false. I don't know. But I looked into it a fair bit and it looked real to me. But monkeys would actually practice prostitution. Once they once they trained monkeys, like how to use currency in any form. It, it didn't have to be like actual, like, you know, real dollars. It could have been like a fucking, like a little plastic coin. And once they were trained that like they can give you the coin in exchange for a banana. Like they, the, the the female monkey started doing that in exchange for sex. Like like the, the male monkey will come up and give and give the fucking female monkey the coin, and the female monkey will let him fuck her, and then she will go off and get other bananas. Like they are entire. Like it is not just humans. Like penguins do the shit. Like they like like woman biologically is it, is they are literally compelled to receive payment for fucking. Like they, like in some form. Now, money is just like the wide known, you know, acceptance. It's the universal lubricant for it. But it's other different ways, too. But yeah. Anyway. Let's continue. Let's continue. She said, watching the girls of Playboy became her escape from her chaotic childhood. But it also gave her hope for the future. Code name. Okay, translation. It revalidated her initial drives as a woman. That's what it did. It didn't give her a hope. Well, it gave her hope, but in translation, in a more brutal, straight sense, it revalidated what what her initial drives were. And it, oh, it's probably okay since they're doing it. You see, just like that girl who I did the All Used Up series about, the last one who, uh, uh, she didn't make it to the big leagues, that hoe. You see, the only, see, the only reason girls like her are in this, like, never-ending world of, like, frustration is because they she can't find other women who, to look up to in this sense, or that, that are doing what she's what she does that she can feel that she can look up to. So she like girls like her uh, the, the didn't even make it to the big leagues, the all used up series. I made like three parts of it. See, she is that girl is so frustrated because see Ellen isn't talking about getting spit on and pissed on and 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 deep thrown dishy pukes. You see, like Ellen's not talking about this shit. Uh, uh, was it? Any fucking like mainstream television bitch is not talking about it. So unless she goes out and find bitches who are talking about it, which really don't, they don't talk about it. She's going to, she's, she's going to always feel left out and frustrated and angry and upset and, and, and self-loathing and all that. Cause she could be, because this is, this is woman's mentality. They have to find a group to run with and they have to find a group that validates them. So for Lana Rhodes in her case, it was watching, you know, because I mean, it, I haven't heard of her, so she's not doing anything extreme. All right. So she's probably doing like basic, you know, basic vanilla porn because she's a pretty girl. So she doesn't have to do anything crazy. Unlike the girl from All Used Up. Uh, this girl doesn't have to do anything crazy, if I had to guess. So she got to watch and, you know, other basic girl next door, ba basic bitches. She got to watch it. So and it revalidated her for what she thought was right. I was like, oh, I could do it. So, yeah, I do from the age of 12. I, I, I'll do it. You, you see? See how that works? I thought she continues. I thought I could do that when I grew when when I grow up. OK, you're not special. Every woman does until you're not special. Be, every woman does until they get out in the world and they see the competition. And then they'd be like, oh, fuck this. I can't keep up. Their lives look so amazing. And I had that idolization from a young age, she said. Yeah. And, and most girls do. Just, just, just OK, most girls do. Just like how most guys think they're going to go to the NFL or NBA when they're fucking nine years old, 10, 11, 12. And then they get out in that world and they see that actual competition. And a lot of guys say, fuck this. I can't do that anymore. It's the same thing with girls of her age. But, they, but, but see, the difference is... Uh, okay, any physically healthy younger girl who's just not fat and took a bath, she can at least make some legitimate, you know, progress in it and get paid professionally for it. Whereas the difference is like, guys, if we're like five foot six, five foot seven, and we're 17, like, well, we just gonna be fucked because like we just don't have that genetic fucking, you know, blessing of being 6'3". So we just can't do it. So there's the way we just not gonna get paid to go play basketball somewhere. That's as simple as that. Like, we got to pay to go play basketball, if anything. But see, the difference is, see, girls, this goes into what I say so many times. Like, see, girls, girls never really know what it's like to truly, to, to, to truly not be wanted. They don't know what that's like. 
they they and, and they never really learn it until they get like to be maybe like 70 years old type shit. And it, it, you know, they 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 never really do. Women, they never really learn what it's like to not be wanted. Okay, because the fattest, ugliest, smelliest bitch, there's some guy sniffing around trying to give her something and fuck her. If if I mean they even ran a study, I think it was OK Cupid, where they had they even made up they made a fake account with this fat white bitch with a mustache and a and they put a pink nose on her, but it looked like kind of humanish, and her hair was fucked up and she was ugly. That bitch was still getting hit up by dudes on OK Cupid. I can't I don't know it, it, and that, that's that's legit. See, the women they they never really know what it's like to not be wanted. I mean, so for them. This is where that like that, that there's always like a certain level there there's a certain level of entitlement in all of them there it really is there's a certain level because they they from birth they were always given the nicer bathrooms a nicer you know they the door held they're supposed to hold the door up before because she's a woman and blah 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 so they never grasp the the reality of what it's like to truly not be wanted if a woman's issue is not getting what she wants from a specific guy. That's her, and then it just crumbles her fucking world once she's told no. So let's continue. As a teen, Rose worked as a glam hostess at a restaurant. Okay, she worked at Hooters. Glam hostess. Bitch worked at Hooters. Uh, then she went into stripping, which led her, which led to her landing her first job in the porn industry. Well, that that's okay. That's a wide fucking generalization. Okay. It's bitches all the time working in the porn industry, you know, everywhere. Porn industry nowadays is only fans. I mean, that that's a very wide thing. Now, she did, if, if she made it this far, she definitely blew up. But that's, a, I mean, landing her first job in the porn industry. That that porn industry is like literally any dude with a fucking camera phone recording a bitch suck his dick for a dollar. She got paid to suck dick. That's the porn industry. And put it on, on Pornhub. <laughs> As her dreams slowly turn into reality, however, Rhodes realized being an adult actress was not as glamorous as it looked. I didn't realize what I'd have to do in that position, she said. Honestly, when I first got into porn, even the day before I was about to shoot my first scene, I never thought I'm about to have sex with someone. It's being young and naive, she admitted. Yeah. What did I say earlier? You see, that, that level of entitlement. Just uh, was uh, was that, that like that like that bitch uh, redhead redemption? It was the same thing. Well, she got kicked out the industry essentially because she wouldn't do anal, and she pretty much tells on herself in that whole video I did a while back. But it was the same thing. See, it's that level of entitlement. I didn't re bitch. It's porn. I didn't realize what I'd have to do in that position. It's what did you think you was gonna have to do? Cook burgers and <laughs> what did you think you was gonna have to do? You dream to be a porn star. And you got to see, because that explains what I said, her, like, what, three minutes ago? Woman, <laughs> woman's initial goal in life, especially the Western women, that westernized, feminized society, feminist, and, you know, infected society, their initial, their, their initial thought when they hit the world is, I deserve something because I can pretend to be nice. And I can smile and I am a woman. So I deserve shit. Give it to me. Women essentially take from society. Men essentially give to society. It's just the reality. I didn't realize what I have to do in that position. She tells on herself right there. She felt like her initial thought was, well, if I just stand here <laughs> or if I just move my arm and look at you kind of slow, then you'll give me shit, right? <laughs> No, bitch, you got to start, you know, sucking. But even then, she's just fucking the sucker for money. Despite the culture shock. Despite the culture shock. She wanted to be a porn star. She, she shows up to her, to, she shows up to work, and she actually has the fuck. And, oh my god, what is this? <laughs> like, are you fucking serious? Like, are you looking... <laughs> It's like, be like, it's like me saying, yeah, man, I want to be a professional basketball player. But I showed up to practice and I had to start dribbling. Like, what? I, this is a culture shock. Oh, my Lord Jesus. I, mean, I got to run. I got I to gotta do drills. I got to dribble between cones. What the fuck? Ooh. 
<laughs> but see, men don't do that. Because men, see, as men, as men, we understand that we have to do something to actually work and give into society again. At, at some point. At some point. And some guys ain't lazy than others, but whatever. Like at, at the core, like we understand the logic that we have to show up and put something in to give back to society. You see, which is to be real. Most women initially don't have it. They learn it once they realize the competition is, you know, there's other prettier bitches out in the world and 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 she can't just, you know, walk over them with her beauty. Once she now it's like, oh, now I got to actually do something type shit. But most most girls like they don't like they 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 don't want to do nothing. They they they, they, they do not want to engage in anything that's going to take thought unless it's how do I look cuter than Sarah and Susan or did she is she did she go take my man or 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 is my man leaving me because I'm not fucking him right <laughs> anything outside of those three women do not want to think about it you don't want you just don't like it <laughs> you, you, <laughs> it's just the reality so I think it's in the article right here Despite the culture shock, Lana Rhodes managed to forge a successful career in the porn industry. Which, hey, I'll be real with you. Especially nowadays, with porn actor with with porn on like that's quite a feat. Hey, and, and, but it, but it's like the it's like the world, man. It's not really about who's the best or whatever the fuck like that. A lot of it's just luck. It's just you know perfect timing, you know name presentation. It, I mean, it's a lot of times it's not like just the actual effort. Because I'm one of the best. She probably doesn't do anything super hardcore or anything. Because she she she's a little too pretty to have to have to keep doing that shit. Unless she just likes to do it. Which there's some bitches like that too. So it says she now has 12.7 million followers on Instagram. And boasts her countless admirers on on OnlyFans page. Now. Now. To go back. <clears throat> to. To go back. On all this. And like I said so many times before. What's it? Home? Turn this dumbass video. What is, what is this goofy shit? I don't know how to turn this off. That's some goofy shit. The fuck? Okay. So, god damn it. My th like, like I, I said this so many times, man. My problem is not with women being prostitutes hookers stuff like that because that 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 is essentially like like i say when, when you go to brothels like especially here in europe when you go to brothels what you see is 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 the natural exchange between men and women that is the, like like and, and it's so natural and it just flows so natural you don't have to worry about people i mean every now and then there's some fucking drunk dude that you know does something stupid but for the most part you don't have to worry about fights you don't have to worry about like all that, like that dumb, like when you go to clubs, you got to worry about somebody getting into a fight or whatever the fuck, you know, all that shit. But in the brothels, you essentially see the core of the exchange playing out. And it's quite a peaceful place. It really is. Like the brothels that I've been to throughout Europe, it's it's quite peaceful. It's the natural exchange. It's just, it's, it's, it's like going to a restaurant. It's essentially the same. It's because, because eating is such a natural part of of, of what humans do. Well, it's the same thing as prostitution. When you go to a brothel, it's the same shit, man. It's it's you. It, it, it's a quite relaxed, uh, smooth. Smooth. Every the transactions are usually smooth. You know, everything's usually. You know, there's usually not many problems there. Except there's always gonna be like one or two asshole dudes from time to time. But for the most part, it, it's fine. Like now, my thing is this. She I, go I, like she, okay. Speak for me talking about her. She can go suck suck as many dick she wants for how much money she wants, blah, blah, blah. Go for it. Do it. But where I have problems with bitches is when they try to act like they were some victim the whole time and whatever the fuck. And, oh, it wasn't my fault. And, and, and men make more money. And, 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 and when they try to, like, flip that shit or, or she tries to, like, be this, like, super independent bitch and then wonder why no man wants her anymore. Is because you were essentially the rock star in, in 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 genetics. You were you 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 were the rock star. But like I said in the last video, everything like what makes women like super super valuable 
from like street appearance, like just watching her walk down the street with her big tits and big ass, like all that, that is temporary. See, that show she was watching, what was the name of that show? Um, Girls Next Door. See, shows like, see, see th this is where girls like this get so lost and confused in, 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 in the real world. When it, when, when it comes to when, when, when their ride is up and they got to find a man and all this shit like that, this is where girls like this always get fucked up. You see, uh, Girls Next Door, fucking whatever soap opera, some love novel she's reading. See, those those books and the, the well, love novels, love novels, you know, some goofy self-help bullshit. Once they get older, then they start reading shit like that. See, those TV shows and forms of media, they don't teach women how to be genuinely good people. They always teach women how to keep going out and looking for more. You see, so when these girls get older, that th that's what that's a huge reason why so many girls are fucked up. And, and, and at the core reason, most women are just not decent humans. So they don't even know how to teach other women how to be decent. I mean, there are some. There are some great ones. Because there's another, I think he's a MGTOW dude. That dude with like the red, he, 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 it's a white dude. I think he's in Australia, I think. Or he might be in the UK. And he has like a red beard. He, I think he got to talking to this, this, to, to this woman. And, and the woman, like she was like, she was right on target with everything. It was an older, it was an older white woman he was talking to. But she was like right on point with everything. Like most women, they, they just, most women are not fun to be around, are not nice, they're not genuinely good people. Most women are only looking out for themselves, you see? So they, they this is why most women can't unite unless they all just end up fat and fucked up. Then it's like, oh, well, we don't have any other options, so now we, we should unite and be a team. But see, like, <laughs> as long as she looks like this, you can't tell her nothing. You can't tell her nothing. So trying to tell her, you know, like genuinely try to like sit with a dude and be caring and loving... And be there for him, and 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 this is what you should look for in a man: a man who's going to bring you medicine when you're sick, a man who's going to bring you food when you're hungry, a, you know, a, a man who's going to genuinely be there for you, not just because he wants to fuck you, but because like it's his duty as a man to do this for his woman. You see, you can't tell her any of this shit right now because she's winning. You can't tell her. But the, the sad part is, once once those tits start deflating and that ass starts shriveling up and sagging. See, then, now she's gonna want to learn all this shit. Now she's gonna want to learn how to how to how to be a genuinely good person and be nice and caring. But by then, it's too late. It's gonna be too late. And as girls like this, most times that that's how they fuck up. It, it, it's it's how to see a guy now. On the flip side, a guy can go out and be a rock star and go out and lose everything. But a guy can still fix it because what we bring to the table is is protection and stability. And intellect in the world and, and wisdom from failing over and over again as man. We learn these things, like legitimately failing as man. Not like, see, women never really fail at being woman. You see, woman doesn't fail at being woman when she's younger. Because all a woman is, the, the bare minimum requirements for a woman to be desired and become successful as woman as in being desired by, by men is just be skinny and take a bath. They don't have to learn how to keep falling on their face and getting back up and all that. They think they do because they don't know reality. So if, if you let her tell, well, I fell on my face and got back up. No, you didn't, bitch, because you always had somebody trying to give you something. They, they don't, they don't, they, they never get these lessons that men have. So, so men, we get shit on in the first, you know, 25, 30 years of life. But see, we can always grow up and, and still be desirable for what we bring to the table, which is our protection and stability. We can keep going with it. It's a longer, it's a longer hustle. But when we finally get there, we get there. Once a woman's hustle is over, it's over. She's gonna be for give her ten years. Was she twelve? Uh, she twenty four. Hang, on, let me see. How old is this girl? Tw oh, 24, Yeah, G give her ten years. G give her ten years, and it's over. Now the only okay. Now right here, I'm looking at this related story. That girl, but. Maitland Ward, I think that's the girl who, who now, now the only reason she's succeeding, this goddamn shit, now she is older because she she's succeeding because most of her fan base came from her being, um, she was on Boy Meets World, and I remember on Boy Meets World, she, when, they, when they went to college, I think, this shit ain't even loading up, I would go on that story real quick, but it ain't loading, because I remember that name, I remember seeing her. I was like, what? She's doing porn? Like I said, and, and, and what? And she met the requirements for getting popular as a woman. Because what? She stayed skinny. 
and she and, and she appeared to be clean. So let's hang on. Let's actually let's type this shit in. Yeah, that's her. She used to be on that bitch is 43. And she used to be on Boy Meets World. I would click images, but it's probably gonna show some porn shit. And I'd be able to get me taken out. Taken down. Let's click this Daily Mail. Boy Meets World. She was on because she, she used to be on, on, on a good show. And it got around. So that's why she but most women, by the time they hit 35, like it, it, they just end up, you know, slowly forgotten. So that that's her. She used to be on on, on a, I don't know if you're in the US or even you old enough, but Boy Meets World was this like great show back in the day, man. And she was on it. And then she like and, and she like I like most women, once they run out of, you know, any any options, they gotta start fucking to get by. <laughs> some women hit it earlier, some women hit it later, but but it's the same shit. They when when, when the money gets low, whoop, gotta start opening, gotta start opening holes. Yeah, fuck. I'm trying to get off this shit. What the fuck? Let's just click off. But yeah, man, that's it. So that's gonna be the video. I'm out of here. You guys have a good day. And I'll probably do a live stream either tonight. I'll probably do another live stream tonight. So if I do, man, definitely. If you if you don't have anything else better to do, I'll probably be live streaming. Like, well, tonight my time. So it'll be like, you know, afternoon for most of the people who watch this channel. But yeah, I'm out. Bye.